hey guys welcome to a new tutorial video on this video i'll be showing you how to make this outfit okay so the first thing we're going to do we're going to work on the upper part that's the half cut so for the neck part for the neck you will dip the neck of the front by one inch okay so when you you drafted out your normal basic bodies right your shoulder your armhole your bust your half cut and your waist right then for the neck area you will dip the neck by one inch okay and then you cut out your front bodies i already have a detailed tutorial on how to draft a simple bodies right with accurate measurement so you can watch that tutorial if you don't know how to draft a simple bodies okay so guys this tutorial is beginner friendly and you can make this outfit in the comfort of your home even if you've not made it before okay so i'm done with the front bodies the next thing i'm going to draft out is the back bodies now we already know that the difference between the front and the back bodies is the zipper allowance area okay now the same thing we did for the front we'll do the same thing for the back the back neckline we're going to dip it by one inch okay so the front and the back neckline we are dipping it by one inch because this outfit is a turtle neck okay so now we've gotten our bodies we'll draw our darts for the front and the back and then we join the shoulders so i'm done joining the shoulders this is how it looks now it's time for us to create the total neck all right so the first thing you need to do is to measure your round neck from the center back can you see now please whenever you want to measure a circle uh, an outfit that the neck part of an outfit okay place your tape like this don't place it flat if you place it standing like this it will give you the accurate measurement so we measured from the center back to the other part that's from one part of the neck to the other part and we got 8.25 now that 8.25 we divide it by two we get four point something right now you get your pattern paper and you fold it right and then you place that measurement you got you remember we got 8.25 as the full length of the round neck okay when we divide it by two we got four point something right now we'll mark that four point on our pattern paper that is on fold okay now the next thing we're going to do that four point that we got right we'll divide it again we'll divide it again to get the midpoint right can you see that's the midpoint now at the front part we'll go up by half inch as if we are making a mandarin collar i have a tutorial on how to draft a mandarin collar so if you watch that tutorial you will know that this is the step of making a mandarin collar but the only difference in this is we're not making a mandarin collar all right so now since we've gotten that curve at the upper part from that curve now we'll mark the length of our of our turtle neck the length of the turtle neck so i want the length to be one inch wide the width sorry how wide we want it to be one inch okay remember we remove one inch from the neck so we're going to put back one inch okay now we're going to connect it can you see that it's it's having a slant the it's curvy a little bit can you see because our neck is not straight it's curved so for some people that will just want to draft it just cut a simple straight line you'll find that that on the center front is going to have um got that like it's going to have ruffles i don't know how to explain it so instead of cutting your turtle neck to be just a straight line no cut it like this you have a, it will sit perfectly on your neck part okay because your neck part is not straight it's a little bit curvy so that's why we're using this step so now we've gotten our pattern for our turtle neck right please make sure you notch the bottom part that's the part that you will connect that part you notch it that's the part you connect to your neckline can you see how it's looking so we've gotten our neck piece for the total neck now i'm going to cut two pieces of this on my material now i'm marking that part to remind me that that's the part i'm going to join to my neck you know the bottom part and the upper part are slightly looking alike so make sure you mark it out on your paper so when you get your material you're working with you add half an inch sewing allowance to the side the side and the bottom part you add half an inch sewing allowance and please your material should be on fold so you will cut two pieces of the material and then when you're done cutting it 
if it's not ironed you iron it okay i'm just trying to show you the process okay so now when you're done the next thing you're going to do is to you can either use a an este or a cloth stay or a paper stay or a strong gum stay it depends on your whatever you want i use the strong gum stay or you can also decide not to use any interface for yours if your material is very soft like mine you can use a strong gum stay or a paper or a soft one all right but if your material is thick like thick crepe you can just sew on your material just like that without using the interface all right so now i've put my strong gum stay you see the firmness it has given to the neck part to the material i'm using for the turtleneck now if you watch you see i notched the center the midpoint now i'm going to close the top and the side i'm going to close the upper part and the side that place i notched is the part we are going to be connecting to our neck now on the bottom part right i'm going to go up by half an inch can you see how i'm marking it i'm going to go up by half an inch and then i'm going to join the neck part by half an inch from the side right i'm going to join it right round just follow the lines i'm marking i'll go up by half an inch from the neck part that's the first thing you're going to do right that's where you're going to stop your stitching then by the sides i'm going to join the two materials like so can you see what i'm going i'm doing like this so i'm going to leave half an inch on the bottom area can you see i've joined it can you see how it's looking i left half an inch on the bottom area i'll show you why now i'm going to notch the parts that i've sewed please make sure you are notching every part that you sew especially when you're making your turtleneck okay so now i've notched it now i'm turning it turning it flipping it over okay when i flip it over then you go back you go back and iron if yours is not ironed but if yours is giving you the shape you want then we're good to go now the next thing we're going to do is to connect it to the neckline of our outfit now this is the front part of our neckline okay now remember we left half an inch at the bottom part so we're going to that half an inch we left that's what we we'll use to join it to the neck part now before you join it to the neck part determine your center front and then you notch it remember we notched the collar the um, turtleneck material right so that center front that we notched at that part part will pin it up to the center front of the gown guys we hope we understand up to this point please if you don't understand let me know in the comment section okay i'll explain for that to you but just watch the video keenly and i know you will try you will understand it so that half an inch we use it to join it to the neck part all right so when i'm done joining it can you see how it's looking now it's time for us to flip it over can you see you know we left half an inch at the bottom part we've sewn one to the neck part now the upper part the other half an inch that we left we'll use it to close up this part that we've sewn can you see what i'm doing so i'm folding it in the stitches that we made and then i'm going to use the half an inch of the other side to cover it up if this is giving you confusion just watch my tutorial video on how to make a mandarin collar right if you watch that tutorial this one will be just very easy for you to understand but this is still easy now guys can you see the bottom part of this our uh, turtleneck you see how neat it is that's the front and that's that's the inner part and this is the outer part you see that it's looking neat we've sewn it neatly right the most important thing is when you're making your outfit is your outfit neat so can you see the inner part of this out of the neck area you see how neat it is that's why we created that half an inch on the bottom now the next thing we're going to do is to close up the zipper allowance area and shape the half length now i've done that this is the upper part of the bodies okay now it's time for me to teach you how to make the bottom part of the bodies okay now the first thing you need to do is to measure your waist circumference right you measure the waist circumference of, of your outfit now this waist waist circumference this is what we use to get the bottom part now if you look at the picture you see that it has tool some people call it net that is just the net you can see right then it has a black material the black material on top 
let me show you how to cut that black material on top so the first thing you need to do is to first of all cut out your peplum your flare i have a tutorial on how to cut 360 flare 720 1440 just check that tutorial video on my channel so the first thing you need to do is to cut your your peplum when you've cut your peplum right make sure you notch the sides when you notch the sides then you open up one part of your peplum why are we opening it up because we're going to fix it to the half length now right so that part we opened up is going to be the back part where we're going to attach our zip now if you look at what we're trying to the illustration we're trying to make you see that the peplum one side is longer than the other side so you determine which side of yours you want to be longer right now the length the, the length of this peplum is three inches long it's three inches long so i'm going to make the shorter part to be two inches long you get so the shorter part is going to be two inches while the longer part is going to be three inches now can you see how i connected it you see the reason why i opened up the peplum one side is three inches long then the other side i'm going to make it two inches long right so that you now start measuring two inches from that side then you connect it to the three inches do you get what I'm trying to say? So that's when you fix it, fix it to your half length, one part of the peplum is going to be longer than the other part. Please hope I'm communicating. Hope you understand. Let me explain it again. This is your full peplum, right? And then you've opened up one part. That part you opened up is going to be your zipper allowance area. Now you determine where you want to be the longer part of your peplum, right? The length of this peplum is three inches. Can you see three inches long that means the other part is going to be shorter right so the other part is going to be shorter so i'm going to make the other part two inches so i'll start measuring two inches from the other side can you see how i'm measuring it other side two inches to the center front then connect it to the side can you see how i connected it now guys can you see how i connected it then i'm going to cut it out okay so this is how to get your should we call it high low peplum or different dimension peplum but whatever you want to call it the most important thing is that you understand the basis or the skills right now i'm cutting both the front part and the back part you can choose to make only the front part to be long right but i choose to do both the front part and the back part so we've done the peplum now i will attach it to our half length okay We'll attach it to a half length and i'll come back to show you how it looks so guys please if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel please click on the subscription button and subscribe like and most importantly share the videos click on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i post new tutorial videos okay and i hope you're enjoying the tutorial videos on my channel if you have any requests let me know in the comment section or send me a message i'll try my best to make a tutorial video for you my lovely subscribers so guys i've pinned my peplum can you see now i'm going to go to my machine and sew it all right now before you sew your peplum make sure you turn it up with a lining or with a bridal satin or you use your bias to turn up the the bottom part the hem part okay now see i've joined it can you see the longer part can you see the longer part then can you see the shorter part so that's how we got that upper part of the peplum of this outfit so now the next thing for us is to fix the layers on the bottom part so the first layer is a tool or a net depends on whatever you know it has right now the you first of all measure your waist circumference right the waist circumference is 12 now the two the length of your two that's how long your length of the length of your two is is supposed to be two times or three times your waist circumference so if your waist circumference is 30 your tool net is supposed to be more than 30 it's supposed to be up to 60 or if possible 50 because you're going to be drawing gathers on it to make it full do you get do you get what i'm trying to say so the how wide your tool net is supposed to be two times or if possible three times your waist circumference do you get that's what's going to give it the fullness and the it, that's what's going to make your dress to be very pretty that's the thing right so now when you get your tool net right 
you now start you draw your gather you choose you either draw your gather or you pleat it depends on your preference now i've fixed the net now the next layer is your bridal satin after your net the next layer is your bridal satin so the same thing you did for your net to right see the see can you see the two nets that i fixed it i drew gather on it then you get your bridal satin the same thing you fix it on your two nets the same way you fixed your two nets now this is how it looks now for some people they will leave theirs like this right but for some extra people they will still add another layer to this bottom part do you get what i'm trying to say so this is the second layer now the third layer this is a very strong net it's not a, a, an ordinary normal tool net no this is the strong one for making ball dresses ball gowns okay now this is the third layer okay now i'm doing i'm doing all these things just to show you if you want yours to be fuller if you want your ball dress to be very pronounced you have to add all these layers now the same thing we did for the net and the bridal satin you do the same thing for the this strong net area this strong net okay you attach it to your half cut okay now i've attached my net can you see how it's standing these layers we are adding to the bottom part is going to give the bottom part the fullness that it requires okay now this is the third layer now the last layer we are going to be adding is the lining can you see the three layers i'm talking about the last layer we're going to be adding is the lining now so if you see all these ball dresses that are really very full and you're asking yourself how did they do it this is how they layered it there are still other other ways of layering your ball dresses but this is the easiest one that is beginner friendly that you can just easily do okay so the last layer is your lining now for your lining we are trying to i'm trying to teach you how to make your work to be neat right you remember see how we fix the we the we fix the three layers now for your lining you're going to fix your lining in an opposite direction you're going to fix your lining in what an opposite direction so you first of all fold your lining into four and then you notch the four points right right then you place your lining in an opposite direction the opposite way can you see you're going to place it on top of your half length not below it on top just you know the way you you fixed your net your tool your bridal satin you won't fix your lining that way you fix your lining the opposite way right can you see how i'm fixing it and then you just pin it now whenever the trick to how to get um, a proportional um um gathers or pleating for your bottom part of your skirt is when you get your fabric you remember i said your waistline is supposed to be two times right so when you get the length of your fabric fold it into four and notch the four edges when you notch the four edges you pin it to your skirt to the bottom part you pin one to the zipper allowance area the second one to the side the third one to the center front the fourth one to the opposite side and then the fifth one to the to the zipper allowance of the other side right now i fixed the lining i'm going to flip it over and then this is how it looks so this is how to make your work neat the inner part of your dress neat you don't need to if you don't have a weaving machine can you see that you don't even need it for this dress because we have already flipped it over and it's looking neat can you see can you see how neat the inner part of this this is the inner part can you see how neat is looking so this is how to create a neat work for your ball dresses for your ball gown okay all right you don't need to always weave if you don't have a weaving machine just do this and you're good to go right so now guys we are almost done with this the next thing we'll do is to fix our zip fold the hem lines and then fi you fix the the your the sleeves of your outfit right you can choose to make a puffy sleeve the sleeve on the tutorial video is, is looking like a funnel sleeve i have a tutorial on how to draft and sew a funnel sleeve you can choose to make yours a long sleeve that's your preference okay now before you join you fix your zip make sure you hold the all the layers together and just use a straight stitch to join them together 
right at the back then when you join them together you fix your zip and you are good to go so guys this is how to make this outfit and i hope this tutorial was helpful to you and if it was please guys subscribe to my youtube channel thank you to my old subscribers and thank you to my new subscribers i really appreciate see you on my next tutorial guys bye